You couldn't do this before. Get Impossible Burgers delivered to your door. Let's open up the box, see what's in there, and see how much it costs. Well, we're buying almost everything online these days, every grocery you can imagine, but food is different than buying paper towels. These have to arrive in good shape, they've got to stay cool, and I would argue they've got to be somewhat palatably presentable. It can't just be like a bunch of junk thrown in an Amazon box and it all comes spilling out when you open the top. So let's see how Impossible does as they are now offering their very first direct-to-consumer online sales. This got delivered to my door, says right here, it's got a bunch of dry ice in it, as you can imagine. We'll talk about packaging and all of that in just a minute. So I'll open the box here. And notice it's all Impossible branded. They got some clever phrasing all around the thing so it doesn't look like your standard sort of generic delivery box. All right, greeted with some stuff that may be press only. You may not receive all of this. Here's my Impossible sticker, little decal to put on my skateboard, because you know, old Cooley's a big skateboarder. This is possibly press materials, possibly something they'll send to consumers. This looks pretty consumer, so I think you're gonna get this piece here, which is gonna tell you kind of the song and dance about Impossible, in case you're a new customer to their brand, I would imagine, as opposed to a repeat person who kind of knows the gospel already. Okay, now inside, here is our first layer of really cool packing material. This is going into my packing supply in the garage for all my eBay sales. Some paper, and voila, there it is. There's the dry ice. There's the stuff all you makers would do something interesting with, but I have no particular use for it except to put it right there. Down in here is where the box of something is. And why I say something is because I'm not entirely sure what they've sent me here. Inside of the box, lots of padding. You could send anything in this and it'll come out in good shape. So this is nice reusable stuff also. Okay, kind of a small package for the large outer wrap, but that's the nature of perishables, right? Now, Impossible is offering both patties and blocks of their, what they call ground product, but their plant-based ground meat. Let's find out what's in here, either or or both. A Little more paper and here we go. Okay, first off, I've got one, two, two blocks of the ground product. So that's what this looks like. It comes in these sort of bricks. Each one of these is 12 ounces. So I've got uh, two 12 ounces right there, and these are frozen hard as a rock. So the packaging worked out. Of course, I'm gonna need a 24 hour thaw to get those to be cookable. Ah, there we go. And here are the burgers. Now we've got one, two, three, four. This is a uh, 10 pack? Yeah, 10 pack of the burgers here. And these are, uh, looks like the same diameter that uh, they'd send to Burger King, for example. We've taken you through the plant and showed you that. Uh, they come in a, uh, a shrink wrap that kind of has some branding around it, but bottom line is pretty, uh, pretty tidy. And again, hard as a rock. The shipping worked in terms of keeping that in a form that I feel good about in terms of, <laughs> definitely frozen, you heard that. A form that I feel good about because I feel like it's stayed nice and cold. Key thing around anything that is quote meat, even if it's not from a cow. Okay, what does all this cost? In this case, 60 bucks. Now, you can't a la carte these orders. There are four combinations you've got to choose one of. This one's called the Combo Pack. It's got 10 of the patties and two of these 12 ounce blocks. You can go as low as $50. That's the least expensive package. That's four of these guys. Or all the way to $70, which I think is 20 of these. But you cannot pick and choose exactly the way you want. But I think it's okay. This kind of stuff is staples, right? You're not buying an exact meal kit that you want dialed in just so. And by the way, the two-day shipping is built into that price. Now we've covered the nutrition, the taste, the cooking of Impossible's products already. There's nothing new to say about that. What is new is all this. Never before has an Impossible Burger brought you so much detritus all around it, from the dry ice to the box it comes in and all the other layers that go around it. I will say this, the package the food comes in that it occupies versus the box around it, while it's not ideal, you need room for the dry ice, is a little better burger to bullshit ratio than I've seen on some Amazon packages, that's for sure. 
and they do assure us that everything here is recyclable or compostable, and judging by what I see, uh, yes, although I think this plastic bag that this comes in might be your only real environmental sin. What is interesting is you can avoid all of this by buying Impossible Burger or pork at the grocery store, and they've expanded that footprint as well. At the start of 2020, getting an Impossible Burger in a grocery store was like getting hit by lightning. Only 150 stores around the country had them. Now we're at about 3,000 as of top of June, and they promise 7,500 or so by the end of this year, including a lot of the big names, Albertsons, Vons, Safeway, Wegmans, Fairway Markets, and Jewel Osco, among others. The plant-based burger wars are now increasingly playing out in grocery stores as the biggest names and some of the smaller names are all crowding in there. Part of the reason is you can take some foods and win by having some degree of scarcity. Folks will clamor to have a hard-to-find Bordeaux. They will not do the same for a burger. And so getting in every possible place of purchase or sampling, whether it's restaurant, grocery, food service, or direct-to-consumer, is a must.